Hey, thanks for checking out this video, right? I'm gonna show y'all something. We're gonna talk about some important numbers today. And, and what these are, are the, the, the allowed tolerances per the manual of your bearings, right? What size should they be? Um, and then what size we get from Mike Berg. So um, I was taught years ago, you know, it's a, I'm sure it's a good life lesson, but it's an army lesson that we teach soldiers, right? Trust, but verify. Trust that whatever someone tells you is accurate and honest and told to you with good intentions to the best of their knowledge, right? But trust, but verify. So whatever someone tells you, go back and verify it. Now I was, I was told that, that you could reuse your crank pin bearings, right? That's what, uh, very experienced engine builders have taught me or told me in the past. And I've done it before on engines that I've rebuilt, but right. Eventually you got to say, Hey, you know what? Let me, let me verify some stuff. So this is a, a new connecting rod with a brand new crankshaft um, and a, a very experienced engine builder. You know, he'll tell you he's got more experience than anybody out there, you know, more hours on the track and stuff suggested, you know, to check clearance instead of, you know, just measuring it and trusting that, you know, just a, a quick, easy way would be to sacrifice a brand new $240 crankshaft, take a new rod, and then put the bearings in there. So that's what we're gonna do. But I wanted to show you these original bearings. These are, you know, 28 individual Chrysler or US Motor Power, you know, whoever, whoever made these. All right, and they fit in there just as they should. You know, doesn't feel like, I mean, obviously you can wobble this way. Any engine's gonna wobble, you know, this way because I've cut part of the crank off, but, uh, you know, up and down, left and right. <clears throat> I can't really feel anything by hand. They feel like, you know, they're in there pretty good. So, you know, what, what would happen if I, you know, took this connecting rod and lifted it up. Yeah, I bet all these bearings would just fall out, right? Yeah, of course, bearings everywhere, right? So that's you know kind of expected. Now let's let's look at something something real interesting with these, right? These number. This is your maximum and your minimum right size when you look in the Chrysler manual okay so this is in inches obviously in the manual it lists inches this is those numbers <clears throat> excuse me converted to millimeters all right we have 2.39 and I mean it's it's right on the, you know, right on the line, <clears throat> 2.39. Right, so when you look at that, you think, okay, 2.39, you know, let's grab another random one. random one 2.39 you know it's it's right on the line but let's just give it the benefit of the doubt let's say these used bearings you know which don't have any rust you know they don't look all burnt up um, let's let's round it up to 2.396 uh, okay 2.39 I mean it's it's definitely not you know that well that one's not even three nine this one's like three eight three eight and a half you know so not not even not even three nine right so that's you know used bearings right and the the difference <clears throat> from a new connecting rod versus a used connecting rod and reusing your bearings right uh you're gonna get a fit that's 
pretty correct. It's within tolerance, right? Let's say it's 2.39, all right? You're gonna have a decent fit. It's right within manual specs, but then let's look at Mike Berg's bearings, right? And I, you know, I can't really sing his praises enough. Whenever you buy bearings from Mike, he's gonna send you two extra ones. So, you know, buy, uh, what, buy, buy 14 of these from him and you'll be able to do, uh, you know, 15 engines because you'll have those two extras. Or if you're like me, you'll lose them, drop them, whatever. Right, so um, his bearings versus reusing them versus these caged ones, right? I, I've measured these, actually sacrificed a couple of these, you know, popped the, popped the bearings out and measured them. And they're right in the middle of this uh, spec as well. So, you know, if you do decide to run these, um, you know, you can, you can have the peace of mind that they are the correct size, but I still run mics because um, I don't I don't like the the gap right there. You know where your your two bearings go in. You know you can see there's you know just a, a wider space there. So it, they're the proper size. I don't know. I just I prefer the individual bearings, right? Uh, but if you do decide to run these. You know they're they're fine for you, um, and same with these. They they are they are fine. They're within spec, right? But let's look at Mike's bearings, All right? And remember, this is our you know minimum and maximum per the manual. Two point four one. Yeah, two point four one. 2.41, right? You get you get the picture, right? Uh, they are actually oversized. When you look in the manual, it tells you, you know, 2.399, almost 2.4. <clears throat> These are 2.41, or you know, 0 0.0949 is what these are, and your max is 0 0.9445. So. Mike's bearings are actually oversized bearings, right? So if you are running an engine, right? And you don't wanna buy uh, the $85 connecting rod, you want, and you wanna reuse your old one, I'm gonna fast forward this through this while I put these in here. So bear with me for a moment. And now you've just added oversized bearings, you know, into your uh, connecting rod slash crank pin area. So if you have anywhere on any of them, right, you've just taken that up. You know, now if your crank pin gets below, you know, 0.75, right? If it's, you know, if you got 0.749, maybe time to consider a, uh, maybe doing a hard chrome plating over it or just, you know, replacing it. But, you know, these will improve any play that you had down there. All right, you can see they almost, almost want to stay in there. Oh, hey, not today. No. Okay. Save myself a little time and effort while I put these uh, bearings in with a new connecting rod. Okay. So this is brand new crankshaft of course minus the you know the cut that i put into it to sacrifice it for science and and show y'all how mike's oversized bearings actually fit in here great all right let's find a let's 
find a spot for this little guy. Okay. So that's what I wanted to show you, right? Mike's bearings are such a perfect fit. Such a perfect fit. I mean, you know, fractions of a millimeter more and you wouldn't be able to spin them. They would just fall right out. You know, so that's why I say trust but verify, right? Trust that whatever somebody tells you in a YouTube video or a Facebook post or, a, you know, Facebook message, uh, maybe it's with good intentions and maybe they think um, that what they're saying is accurate and correct. But the micrometer doesn't lie, right? If you run a used connecting rod, you're probably okay. If you run used bearings, you're probably okay. But if you essentially want to blueprint, you know, the, the bottom end of your connecting rod on a new crankshaft, right? You know, I can't, I can't attest for anything you know, any company put out in the past. And if it's a Chrysler or West Bend crank and it's been run like crazy, then, you know, of course it's gonna be worn out. Uh, but if you buy a brand new one and a brand new connecting rod with Mike Berg's bearings, you are gonna have the absolute best fit you could possibly have out of your West Bend, right? Or your Chrysler, you know, or your US motor power engine, you know, you know, or one of my engines. As long as you break out your micrometers, you measure everything up, and if you want it to be better than perfect, use Mike's bearings. If you just want to upgrade your, you know, your old engine and get a little bit tighter clearance in there, you upgrade to Mike's bearings. So I just wanted to show everybody that, you know, kind of sing the, the praises of Mike, show everybody, you know, the, the sizes, the tolerance, what the manual says you should be running, how your used bearings, you know, will, will wear, they will show wear and then eventually these will as well. But, you know, we replace them 25 bucks, buy some from Mike. And then uh, you can have that peace of mind of, you know, bearings that fit so perfectly in your connecting rod uh, that you, you know, you, you can't get any better. You just can't. That is, you know, thanks to Mike, as probably as precise as, as we'll ever see. So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Just wanted to show everybody that. Sacrifice a, a crank for science. Show you how your used bearings will fit in your engine um, or your you know your US motor power bearings anything that you got new old stock that's sitting on the shelf well you know it's old stock there's new bearings in town and it's it's Mike's bearings